All right, guys, 15 February 2022. We made it. We made it to the 15th. So today, um, let's talk about this article. We have an Ethereum price, and we're currently at 31.48, which is good. We're above the 3,000 mark. The Ethereum price is expected to bounce as the ETH transaction fees fall to multi-months low. That's this report. So let's get into it. Let's jump right into it. And here's the current gas fee for Ethereum. We are at, which is amazing, 74, 74, 73. And you can kind of see where it's been hovering. Uh, typically you've been seeing 250, way up there. Just unrealistic fee prices, crazy. Crazy stuff, man, just to move your Ethereum around. It's just, it's, yeah. So hopefully now, with the uh, lower uh, transaction fees, things will start moving better, right? Let's get into it. So where is this article? Ethereum price expected to bounce as ETH transaction fees fall to multi-months, multi-months, multi-month lows. Reading hard, reading hard. Again, I went to public school, so that's, that's, my, that's my excuse. Okay, Ethereum transaction fees have dropped to multi-month lows. They have indicating that the token could see a reversal in its price. I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully. Uh, the figure represented a decline of over 75% of the average fee price since November 2021. It was crazy. Uh, January back through November, just to get your money moved, especially if you're mining. Just to move your Ethereum off, say, Ethermine. I mean, I'd set my payout fee at 50 and it just took weeks and weeks and weeks and it finally hit i go my god this is crazy so ethermine was becoming my wallet it was holding all my mine crypto and which is fine because that limits the number of transactions to my wallet from ethermine once i get the payout and then that's my track tax transaction that's my one tax transaction i report that's makes it easy on reporting right instead of instead of getting multiple little transactions out of your mining pool like i do with raptorium man i'm getting 11 11 11 like 10 a day you know and uh those are all reportable and it may change though that's a quick tangent with that lawsuit against the irs mining and staking may not be taxable because you're creating a taxable object which will be taxed when you sell it right at a loss or profit so that's what they're suing and uh you know, they kind of won and the IRS came back and, you know, paid them. But then they said, no, 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 we don't want to settle. We want to make this policy. So when you stake, you don't have to pay taxes on that money you earn from staking only until you exchange to another coin or sell. All right, that's off topic, but lots of stuff going on with that. So, yeah, the point being the higher gas fees to move Ethereum was a good thing in a way because they cut down on the number of transactions I would make. Moving my Ethereum to my wallet. All right, enough about me. <laughs> All right, while Ethereum price slid below below 3000 the network medium fees have dropped below $3, suggesting that demand for the ETH transactions have been low. Increased scalability and lower transaction costs could improve an investor's outlook on the asset, boosting the token's price. Yes because that fee was turning off normal people who were jumping in to crypto going, hey, I'm gonna buy some of this stuff. Wait, I gotta pay all this money just to move my money? No, nah, I'm out. And even the exchanges like uh, BlockFi, Voyager, mainly BlockFi stopped the free withdrawals of Ethereum ERC-20 tokens because the fees were killing them as a business. They weren't, they just couldn't keep that incentive up to give you free Ethereum movement of your coins. It was just too much for them, and they said no. And now that's, that's bad. So what I have been doing now, I split my rigs, my, my little baby 1.1 giga hash rigs, right? I'm not a superstar like some of these YouTubers out there or other folks, but I got half and half, half mining two miners. Two miners will mine Ethereum, and I get paid out in Bitcoin. It worked, I set my threshold, blammo. Got my Bitcoin right to my Bitcoin wallet, and I start making interest on my BlockFi account on that Bitcoin I mined and earned. I mined Ethereum, got paid in Bitcoin, and I make interest and rewards in the BlockFi. Uh, sign up, man, I got BlockFi, 
affiliate links, man. You make money, I make money. It's 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 not bad. Check out Voyager and BlockFi, and uh, let's all succeed together. All right, let's see. The Ethereum fees dropped to July 2021 20, lows. Ethereum transaction fees have reached its lowest level since July 28, 2021. Oh, what a good time it was. Uh, dropped below 3,000. 3, According to on-chain analytics platform Santament. Never heard of it. Low fees usually correlate with a bounce in the assets price. Yeah, good. Ethereum's median fees have quietly dropped below $3 for the first time since July. This is good. Maybe I'll flip everything back over to Ethermine for now. You know, stack some of those Ethereum coins, baby. All right. Ethereum fees have been criti uh, critical to the sustainability of the blockchain network. As users who create transactions must be involved in a bidding process to have their operations processed more quickly, the higher fees paid to miners, the faster the confirmation process is for the transaction. Yeah, I love it. All right. The, to ease the burden of paying high transaction fees, uh, is the Ethereum consensus layer, formerly known as E2.0, which aims to introduce proof-of-stake POS, POS, and scalability solutions, such as sharding, which could increase the transaction processing cap capacity to nearly 100,000 transactions per second. Vitalik Buterin, he's like an evil Bond villain. Uh, Co-founder of Ethereum recently introduced the concept of a near-future hard fork. Say that 50 times fast. That would uh, include blob carrying transactions. Interesting. Uh, which could temporarily relieve scalability concerns before sharding begins. <laughs> the, these terms, man, they're, they're getting to me. The proposed solution is expected to be, to be adopted in the uh, Shanghai hard fork. All right. There you go, man. So they're saying the correlation is that as the fees, the GUI, the GUI, the GWI fee drops, there is a correlation that Ethereum price could be headed for a 25% rise. Yeah, that's good. So what does that mean? I don't know. Take the information for what you will. This is YouTube. Do not listen to anybody on YouTube. Do your own research and invest wisely. Just entertainment, guys, if you think it's going to go up. And you believe in this correlation? I don't know. What do you do? Keep mining? You buy Ethereum? I have no idea. Do what you want. It's your money. But it's looking good, right? Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. Yeah, so they're saying it has to sustain. Okay, we get it. Anyway, so that's good. I've always hated the, the gas fee. I know it's a necessary evil to pay the miners and all the transaction uh, rewards and all those goodies, right? But uh, when you're trying to move your money, man, it's, it's uh, the bulk of the people investing that's a turnoff, and I, I think that's going to hurt them in the long run once they go to proof of stake and they lose the GPU mining community. They're not going to be there to be the fanboys for Ethereum, and I think, I don't know, my hunch is Ethereum is just going to be forgotten, and then the other guys like maybe Polygon and uh, Solana may take over. I don't know, just my hunch. I have no idea. Nobody knows. Everyone thought Bitcoin was going to go 100000 at the end of December. Now look where we're at. You know, and all you hear on these stupid YouTube channels, it could go up, it could go down, it could go sideways, and it could go backwards. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, just stop the madness. All right, that's all. 850, that's enough of my rambling. So fees are going down. 25% maybe spike in Ethereum based on correlation, based on the uh, on-chain analysis, on-chain analytics. Uh, yeah, so do it. Do with it what you will good information to know that the market is kind of moving up and uh let's check before we head out and yeah 31 38 44 slowly sneaking back up you notice that 44 31 used to be 28 a couple days ago so pretty good pretty good indication of green i like green green is good but you need the red too you need the red to make you humble all right i'm out go forth do great things keep mining just keep mining, stacking coins, and oh, 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 on that, let's look at, I think the, I, I don't have it up here, but the um, Ethereum profitability mining for today actually inched up a little bit to 0 0.045 cents, 0 0.045, so it was dipped down, it did, I can't speak English heart, 
uh, it did dip below 0.04 for like a, maybe a couple hours, which, oh no, is this free falling? No, it came back up. So that's a good indicator too. All right, I'm out guys. Go forward to great things. I'm out of here. Blammo.